So in, you know, so just now in my uh, five bats, I said that something good story-wise was uh, most of the Shadow Dragon arc and Goku and Pan's relationship. Number five for the worst <laughs> is everything else story-wise. You know, <laughs> the space arc, even the idea that no one ever brought up the Black Star Dragon Balls before, the Super 17 arc, must I even say it, the worst arc in Dragon Ball history. Um, yeah, so Dragon Ball GT's overall story. I mean, Dragon Ball's already more fight-driven than story-driven, but just its overall story in GT is just kind of like, ugh. <laughs> uh, so let me just go straight to number four. So number four on the five worst things in Dragon Ball GT is just Trunks. Just, just Trunks. <laughs> and I like Trunks, both Kid Trunks and Future Trunks, but Trunks was the most pointless thing ever in GT that got way too much screen time. He didn't really help out much. He, I don't think he won a single fight in all of GT. He didn't do anything particularly cool. He was just there, there to fill up space. He wasn't even, the Shadow Dragon arc was centered around Goku and Pan. So Trunks wasn't even there in the final arc despite being uh, around to help in the first like couple. Just Trunks. Uh, number three. And this is, you know, I'm surprised this is number one, but yeah, number three on the five worst things about Dragon Ball GT. The missed opportunity that was Oob. Oob was a good idea. The whole idea behind Oob was that Goku, you know, he's getting older. He won't, I mean, yeah, I know Saiyan stay young longer, but still, you know, he won't be able to protect the Earth forever. You need a younger generation that can protect the Earth from monsters like Frieza, or, or Cell, or anything like that. So Goku trains Oob, the good reincarnation of the evilest he may ever fought, Majin Buu. That is a good idea, along with Pan, you know, a, you know, new heroes to protect the future. And they did nada with him. So, you know, he fights Baby, and while it was a pretty decently cool fight, he gets beat down, and he fuses with Majin Buu, which was also a good idea becomes what they were originally supposed to be, Ma Jude. Uh, and once again, fights Baby again, gets beat down. In my opinion, he should have, because I'm fine with him losing that fight and then Goku saving the day if he hurt Baby more, but he didn't, I don't even remember him hurting Baby in that fight. And he used like the lamest technique in Dragon Ball history, that volley technique that goes straight up in the air, but whatever. And then he's like not even really in the Super 17 arc. And he shows up in the Shadow Dragon arc, gets one-shotted by Omega Shenron. Uh, something cool happens, like he goes up to uh, Gohan and says, Hey Gohan, do the fusion dance with me and we can help out uh, Gogeta. And Gohan's just like, nah, ooh, even if we fuse, you're too injured, our fusion will suffer from it. Just let them in. I'm like, no, I want to see what that looks like. Just, just Maju. <laughs> Uh, I think at the ending of GT, it's been a while, I'm trying to remember, I think at the ending, before Goku flew off with Shenron, they kind of had a thing like, oh yeah, ooh, you gotta protect the world while I'm gone and stuff. It's just like, uh, it would be nice to actually see him protect the world, instead of just losing over and over again. I mean, he trained with Goku for like 10 years, you'd think he would be way above a lot of other characters, but whatever. Number two, <laughs> Piccolo's death. So in Dragon Ball, death means nothing, but Piccolo's death is a perma one. He's never coming back for no reason. So the reason why Piccolo killed himself is unlike the regular Dragon Balls, which are tied to Dende, the Black Star Dragon Balls are tied to um, Piccolo. And I mean, the Black Star Dragon Balls are already kind of a stupid idea. Uh, really, when you think about it, they're just the Super Dragon Balls, but with a horrible repercussion. Um, so Piccolo at the end of the baby arc, in this kind of emotional scene, you know, sacrifices himself to, uh, to you know, stop the Black Star Dragon Balls. Even though it's no real purpose, I mean, there's a million ways they could have got around it. They could have just summoned Shenron, wish Piccolo back, and then Piccolo could have went to Dende. Hey Dende, you know how to make Dragon Balls, you know how to unmake them? And then, boom. Or I don't know if Shenron would be able to do this, but couldn't they just collect the Dragon Ball? I, I think earlier they tried to collect the regular Dragon Ball. No, actually no, they never did, so 
Kumin has collected the Dragon Balls and like ask Shenron to bring all the Black Star Dragon Balls back to Earth. I don't know. Piccolo's death was really unnecessary and then he goes to Hell in the Super 17 arc and like becomes the protector of Hell or whatever. Whatever. It was stupid. And the number one to end off this list, worst thing in Dragon Ball GT, turning Goku into a kid again. Why? Because there was literally no point to it. He didn't really get any weaker. The only thing is that he couldn't stay in Super Saiyan 3 as long, but he could still do 1 and 2 just fine. No matter who he fought in space, they were still far weaker than him. There was really no point. Super Saiyan 4, he probably could have still done it, you know, as an adult. Could they have grown his tail back? We don't know. We don't. I, you know, I say they could have. <laughs> just, why? <laughs> why do it? It just kind of felt like an excuse to have Goku be a main character again. Just, okay, it doesn't, I mean, I don't know. My two and one might be mixed up. Maybe Piccolo dying was worse than uh, Goku. No, 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 it's not worse, cause, you know, GT called the Goku and Vegeta show for a reason. No, not even the Goku and Vegeta show, the Goku show. GT stands for J Goku time. It really, it did just feel like an excuse. Like, oh, there's no real reason for GT to exist, really. After Goku trains Oob, that should just be the end of it. We need a reason for our heroes to have to fight villains. D.H. Goku. They never even get him back to normal. Like, the first thing they would have done in the Super 17 arc would be collect the regular Dragon Balls. We wish Goku to be an, an adult again. It's like, why? Why? <laughs> Chi Chi said it best. Why am I married to a toddler? <laughs> So yeah, those were the five best and worst things for GT. To end off, just gotta say, GT isn't awful. Super is definitely a better follow-up. You know, I've been enjoying Super pretty thoroughly. But I, I, I just felt like I had to defend the parts of GT that deserve legitimate praise. You know, you know the fight to baby, Super Saiyan 4, all of that. Especially the Shadow Dragon arc. That, those were just good things. It's just... There was so much bad mixed in it, like the Super 17 arc, or uh, what was that doctor that made Baby? His ass was lame too. You know, I don't know. <laughs> well, you guys just tell me. Do you hate GT fully? Do you like parts of it? Do you love it? Do you think GT is better than Super? Super is better than GT? I don't know. I don't know. I find it weird anyone think that GT is better than Super, but whatever. That's the end of it. Based on Lama 3, signing out.